Hey guys, I'm Elliot, this is Everything Elliot, and if you don't know what we're doing behind me, well you probably do, because you probably read the title, but we're uh, modifying a box store log splitter to make it a push through style splitter. We are on part two of the video. If you guys missed part one, I'll leave a link up in the top corner, somewhere up here, down in the description, and I don't know, you'll probably just be able to find it on my channel. George is currently working on drilling the holes that will hold the wedge in place, you know, up and down kind of thing. And then once he's done with that and he's out of my way, I'm gonna continue to work on the tray. And while I'm doing that, George is gonna sharpen the four-way wedge so we can get that all welded together. There you go. You're through. Hey, buddy. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> so now that that hole's drilled, I guess, uh, I don't know, what do you want to do? Well, we'll have you keep working on the table. So this is going to be the main structure of the table, the off-feed or out-feed table. And you guys saw that we had that big panel cut up that goes on like this. Obviously it slides all the way in when there's not clamps there, but it'll slide in there like that. So we need to work on the structure before we can work on putting that table down. Essentially, this is as far as it needs to come out. We just need to put some legs off coming out in every direction to get us support out. And then we'll put the top on and then we can work around the skirting around the outside. So we need five bars coming off here at 10 and a half. And this one's gonna be shorter because we're cutting this end at an angle. So five at 10 and a half, and then we'll figure out what that one is after. So George got us a new tool so things will be a little bit easier. Bought a chop saw today. fiber cut. Now we can start putting the skeleton together. Would have helped if I plugged it in. That makes a big difference. So beside the bottom side, this thing is uh, pretty much welded. All right, I'm gonna cut that off. That's where we need, because I need to put a piece over here. Yeah, that's one. I forgot to tighten the bolt. <laughs> so now we're going to take this piece, line it up here. Wow, that is super close. This is never 
coming off of here. Oh my God. All right, so now we can uh, slide the sheet steel on here. You say, Elliot, well, you only welded three out of the four sides of this square tubing. Well, they gave us four sides, but you really only need three. You know, they just give you one extra. So don't worry about that fourth side. It won't hurt nothing that it's not welded. It'll just, I don't know, let moisture out. We'll call it that. This is a nice operator station. I like that. That was a good. Was a little higher, but that was sense. a good cut, though. Yeah. I'm gonna weld this. I'm ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm almost. I'm contemplating welding this solid so we grind it down and it's smooth. So we haven't attached this deck yet, but what George did was cut a bunch of these angles at 45s. That way, it goes like this. We can attach it on here with a quick little weld, and then we're gonna create a funnel with two six inch pieces of this same material. So what I'll do is uh, tack this in. I think I'm just gonna have to hold it and tack it at the same time. crooked but it got there. Yep. tacks in that. Like Tack the bottom first and then we'll clamp each one to make sure before we do the top. So we got the deck pretty much done. You know, obviously we need to finish some welding in here and in here, uh, but boy, is it, it's really turning into something now. Turn the welder off. There we go. I think that's gonna be it for tonight. It is uh, getting a little late. We made some really good progress today. George got the main mast of the four-way sharpened. He did not get the wings sharpened yet. So that's a job for him on another day. I think all we have left is to finish welding that, those little wings, and then I'm gonna weld up some sort of post over here coming straight up and we'll just stack some brake discs on it to give it some extra weight. All right, so this is where we stand. Uh, George is back for our final night. And realistically, the only thing that we have left is to Ooh, those are a little warm still. Yeah. Grind this down. These are going to be the wings on the four-way, so it proceeds to grab it, even though I just said it's hot. Okay. Got to grind those down for the four-way. A single way is in. I did drill a bigger hole to put a bolt through it. Um, other things I did was just did some welds here. Uh, I also ground this down. So now this acts like a ramp. If a piece of wood comes in here, if you guys remember, this used to be flat. So now the wood will ride up and head into the wedge. I think that's, I think that's all I did since I turned the camera off. Well, soften some edges so nobody gets hurt. Um, oh, and added weight. How could you forget? <laughs> so adding all this steel on the back side here made the front side really, really light and prone to tipping over. So I went in my scrap bin, grabbed a bunch of brake rotors, and uh, you can see I just, I welded a post from the hitch, I guess you'd call that. Draw bar. Yeah. So yeah, the brake discs will just sit on there and it's pretty heavy to lift up now.
heavy enough. Heavier. Heavier. Before you used to like throw a feather on the end and it would uh, just fall right over. So the only thing we have left is the four way and we're gonna get into that. I got some ideas of how we're gonna put that together to make sure it's square and level and uh, looks like George has got a little bit of grinding to do before we get into that. Just a little. Just a little. My torch work is subpar. Better than what we had the other day. This one's not bad. That one, uh, that was the first one. Yeah, that was your warm up. Yeah, quite literally. Nice. All right, so we are at the point we are ready to weld one of the wings on and we're just going to tack it for now. We drilled multiple holes in the bottom of this wing, or not the wing, in the middle of this knife. So currently it's set at the lowest setting, which I think is three inches. Then it'll come up an inch for four inches and another inch four or five inches, depending on how thick we want to split that bottom piece. So we'll throw a couple tacks on it and get the other side tacked and then we'll fully weld it. Running her hot, running her real hot. Turn her up to six. Numbers mean nothing to me, but nope. Oh, running her hot, boys. Okay, let's uh, set up the other side. We'll do the same thing. Grab one on the front. Okay, time to do some serious welding or what? Yeah. You wanna I'm try it? You trust yourself? I mean, the worst thing that happens is I gotta put it back on. Gotta re-weld it? Yeah. All right. Uh, push. Push? Yeah. Push MIG, pull stick. Ooh. All right, what do you got going on over there? Nothing good. Whoa. Yeah. What's going on with that, buddy? A little three fill action. All right. Let me do my side here. I think I'm gonna write G on this side and E on this side so we know <laughs> who did what. Yeah. Oof. What do you got going on over there, buddy? A goober. Yeah, I'll say. Fill her in. Fill Come her on. in? You want me to go over top of yours? Yeah, please. <laughs> I'm a tree guy, not a welder. <laughs> I'm not a welder either. Yeah, but you have more hours in this machine. Not, whoa, that's a lot lower than I thought it was. You're fine up there. She a little heavier now? A little bit. That was a good one. Yeah, I know what I'm doing, all right, buddy? Flip that around, let's do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> we'll see what YouTube says about that. Yeah, somebody's gonna correct me. not terrible. Mm -mm. All right, flip her around again. I think she'll hold. I think she's gonna hold too. Shutting her down. I think that's the the last welding we need to do. I think that, careful, that's not uh, It's not what? It's, uh, it's just kind of set there. Oh. All right, so the final welds of this thing are, are done. Right, what else do we need to weld? No, I think that's about it. Dare we slap this thing in there and see what it looks like? I think we shall. Must be a little bit of a- We're in, we're in. in. Yeah. 
I get oh, both in. You're in. There's the four way, ladies and gentlemen. I like it. I like it a lot. Me too. I think all we have left to do is a test run. Really? I like that welding cap on you. It's Thanks. nice. Same on you. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Keeps my voluptuous locks. All right, let's do this. Let's do 20 minutes of cleanup. Yep. And then let's throw let's let's throw a log in it and see how she sounds. Yeah. So we got the unit warming up behind us. George is, uh, says this thing likes to be warm before it'll run. So we're gonna let this warm up for about, uh, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. And I got two cutoffs. It's the only thing I have at my house is just two 10 inch cutoffs from the end of a log. Uh, it is maple. And since we don't have the four way all the way sharpened, we're just gonna run it through the single way. I don't think there's gonna be any issues, but who knows, the whole thing could blow apart. All right, so we need some more weight on there, huh? As you can see, we need more weight on the front end or a jack on this back end. Ha! Let me go grab a jack. That was violent. That was. <laughs> you got a little working table. I think it's quiet enough, you can idle it up a little bit. Right up. 
pet. All right, well, you can see it obviously works. I'm super happy with it. I'm sure George is ecstatic. A few little tweaks here and there, but I mean, for our first time of building, I mean, we, we made the basics better. Yep, absolutely. We're gonna have to try it on some real wood though. I mean, these are just a couple little pieces of maple. I think George, you got any? I got a lot of wood at the house. George's got, got a pile of maple, house. pile of locust. So, uh, some cherry. I think we're gonna have to give it a test drive. Um, I'm definitely gonna have George sharpen the four-way before I go over there and we get into it because I really wanna see this unit with the four-way. Obviously, we know it works with the single way. We just split, I don't know, a couple handfuls of wood and mm -hmm. that's it. If you guys got any questions, make sure you leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, all that stuff. I appreciate every single one of you. Until the next video. Have a great day.